Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today guys I'm gonna be showing you how to make a delicious homemade chicken pot pie y'all I'm telling you it's better than you ever had before so grab all of your ingredients subscribe to my channel if you're new here and let's get started all right guys so first what we're gonna do here we're gonna make up a quick little seasoning mix for our chicken and to a small bowl i'm gonna add a teaspoon of onion powder a teaspoon of garlic powder and i'm also using this tony's no salt seasoning so i'm gonna go in with a tablespoon of that if you don't want to use uh the creole seasoning you can use seasoned salt or regular salt and you want to use about one or two teaspoons of that but as for me, I'm going to add in some black pepper, and I'm just going to mix this up. We're keeping it real simple, okay? So once you get that mixed up, go ahead and get your chicken breast. You can use chicken thighs or whatever meat you choose. I'm using two chicken breasts that have been split. Um, it's actually one and a half, but you know, it made up enough. But um, I'm doing two chicken breasts split, and I added just a teaspoon of olive oil to both sides, and I'm going to add about one to two teaspoons of that seasoning blend. Now, don't forget to season the other side. I'm watching you, okay? Make sure you season both sides. Apply the same love that you do on the left to the right, all right? It's just as simple as that. So once you get your chicken seasoned, we're gonna put this in a preheated oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes. If you don't wanna bake it, you can also throw it in the air fryer, all right? So go ahead and get that going and we're gonna continue on with our recipe. Here I have a 10 inch cast iron skillet that I'm gonna butter down with just a little bit of piece of wax paper. And we're gonna slide that butter all over into it because guess what? We're about to put in our pastry crust. So I'm using puff pastry. If you wanna use pie crust, that's up to you. But I promise you, you will love the puff pastry a little bit better. And it doesn't matter if it, it's not the same shape or size. I'm just going to fold that thing right on down in there. Because ain't nobody got time for all this extra stuff, y'all. Just put it in there. Press it down into it. And y'all, that's it. That's all that's to it. The butter should have it stick. All right? So put that to the side. And now we can work on our pie filling. So I'm doing something a little bit different here. I'm adding three strips of bacon that I diced up. Um, why? Because I want to. <laughs> but guess what? If you don't want to... You can skip this whole step and just add in three tablespoons of butter to saute your veggies in. But I'm going in with some bacon. I cooked it up till it got nice and crispy and I'm gonna leave it in there. And I'm gonna use that bacon fat to saute my mirepoix, okay? So we're doing one cup of diced carrots or chopped carrots rather. I'm gonna go in with one large yellow onion that has been diced as well as a half cup of diced celery. All right, this is the base for our, I was about to say soup, y'all. We ain't talking about no soup today. We doing pot pie. But this is the base for our pot pie. So go ahead and saute that up. Get it nice and translucent. And then we're going to add in one diced russet potato. I left the skin on it just to give it a little razzle-dazzle, you know. Um, also, I didn't feel like peeling them. But you can peel them or you can leave the skin. It's totally fine. Just make sure you clean it. All right, but add in your potatoes, saute that up a little bit, and I'm going to give it a little bit of love by adding in a half teaspoon of salt and some black pepper to taste, and just mix that up, and it's okay if the bottom of the pot gets a little, you know, a little, little love on it. That's okay. It's called fun. We need all of that. It ain't nothing but flavor, okay? You can eat this right here just now, but we're not going to do that. Now, I'm going to add in a teaspoon of minced garlic. And um, I'm also going to add in a half teaspoon of dried thyme and a half teaspoon of dried basil, which is optional. I would not say that the thyme is optional, though. Please try to add that herb in, whether it be fresh or dried. Once you get that in, we're going to add in three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And we're going to mix that flour in. And it's going to get real pasty. It's going to get real dry. And you're going to think you messed up, but you didn't. Okay? That's what you want. It's going to thicken. So because I didn't have any chicken broth and also because I realized I had some chicken base, I'm adding a big tablespoon of chicken base, the roasted chicken base, to two cups of water. And that's going to make up two cups of chicken broth. Now listen, if you want to use chicken broth, you can, but I really prefer that you do it this way because that base is so concentrated, y'all, and it's going to add in so much 
flavor. I highly recommend that you get the chicken base for this recipe. But if you don't, that's up to you too, okay? But remember, that, that base is concentrated. So once you get that in, gradually mix it in. It's going to thicken. And then to that, we're going to add in a half cup of milk. And then we're going to add in three-fourth cups of heavy whipping cream. Heavy cream, heavy whipping cream, same thing, okay? Add that in. Don't worry about it being soupy because it's going to thicken. And we're going to reduce our heat to a low simmer. We're going to simmer this on low because we do need those potatoes and the carrots to finish cooking. All right? Remember that. You don't want nobody bite into no hard potato. Those potatoes are not fully cooked. They're a little cooked, but not a lot. So put it onto a low simmer. And about after eight minutes, this is what it should look like. This is the consistency we want. So at this point, your chicken should be done. It should be done and it should be ready. So go ahead and take that out. You can cut it, you can shred it, you can process it, whatever you want to do. I actually shredded mine with a fork and that's just what it's going to be today. But once you get it nice and shredded, add it into your pot. Look at that. Oh, delicious. And y'all, I said, wait a minute, something is missing. And I remember it was my peas. Now, this is the stage that you want to add. You want to add them at the very end because you don't want them to get mushy and all terrible. You Uh-uh. Don't let them do that. Even if they're frozen, add them in at this last stage, y'all. I'm telling you because remember, it still has to go in the oven. All right? So, add in your peas. And one little quick FYI, um, I did add in about a teaspoon of turmeric for some color. Um, that's just me y'all and for additional flavor, but you don't have to add that in there if it freaks you out Don't even worry about it, but I did want to kind of let y'all know that but it's totally optional if you decide to do it So look our mixture is done Here is our pie crust at the bottom or our pastry uh, crust and we're just gonna scoop in the filling I use this entire pot in this 10 inch skillet. Okay, the entire pot is in here I didn't save not a piece and for the top layer I'm going to actually roll it out just a little bit only because I don't want it to be too thick. And I also want it to fit over the top of this cast iron dish. I'd rather cut the sides off than not have the pastry to be big enough, okay? So I rolled it out and I'm just going to take a knife and I'm just going to trim off the sides. And if you were making this for multiple people or in multiple dishes or whatever the case may be, you can take this dough and roll it back out and use it for something else, okay? Or you can use it for a same, the same dish. But once you get that trimmed, you're just going to tuck in the sides as I'm doing here. And this is just to help prevent it from, you know, spilling over and bubbling over, okay? Because it's going to make a mess in your oven and you're going to be mad. Don't be mad with me because I told you. All right, so I'm taking one egg yolk with a teaspoon of water to make a uh, egg wash and I'm just going to paint this thing pretty so that when I put it in the oven, it gets nice and brown and crispy. Okay, beautiful brown just like me, I'm telling you. And then all you got to do here is just take a nice little, little sharp knife, slit a little, you know, at the top, make a little slit at the top so that your pie does not explode. And we're going to bake it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 4, 24 minutes. Lord, I almost said 40. But y'all, look. Look at that. It's, I, I have no words. I had to touch it to make sure it was crispy. Y'all, it was so beautiful and buttery. Y'all, look at that. It's bubbling. It's hot. It is ready. Look at that puff pastry. I'm telling y'all, puff pastry takes this to the next level. All right, so look, let's go ahead and plate it up so y'all can see how good it is. And there you have it, guys. Look at that delicious pot pie. I'm telling y'all, man, this has to be the top three recipes, like one of the top recipes I've ever made on my channel. I'm not kidding y'all. It is that good. And I want y'all to try it and let me know for yourself. Check, look at that. Look at that. Y'all, it, ooh, I'm, I'm about to go eat me a bowl right now. All right? That's just how good it is. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. As always, thank you for tuning into my channel. And if you try this recipe out, let me know down in the comments. And I'll see y'all next time in the next video. Bye.